Hello and welcome to this quick video introduction of the new ISAAC communication server in version 2, or short ICS2 and its usage. The ICS2 is designed to offer easy access to monitor and control of the extensive product range of ISAAC multi-channel high voltage modules and the various crates which are offered. A system always consists out of at least one ICS2 server, one crate controller, one crate and one high voltage module. Regarding controllers, there are two types available, a master and a slave controller. The master controller is equipped with an onboard ICS2 server card, so at least one of those is necessary for a running system. For prior Isaac Crate system versions, which are already used in the field, it is also possible to update the server functionality with an external ICS2 server system called ICS Mini. Slave controllers are necessary in case the system needs a high number of channels and therefore more than one crate. It is easily possible to connect slave controllers to an existing master controller and quickly increase the system size. For the module mainframe or crate there are three different versions available, which can be quickly integrated into existing systems with the help of slave controllers. With this it is easily possible to start with a small system for laboratory use and quickly increase the system size if the need arises. Isaac multi-channel high voltage modules are basically available in four different major types, which can all be combined or replaced by each other within the system. The first type of module is called EHS, which is available in 4, 8, 16 and 32 channel versions, with output voltages starting from 100 volt up to 20 kV, with various grounding schemes and different precision levels for different applications, such as silicon detectors, germanium detectors, wire chambers, gem detectors and many more. This type is equipped with one high voltage generator for each channel. The second type is called EDS, which is a low cost distributor module with 16, 24, 32 or 48 channels up to 3 kV, for applications which do need a high number of channels at a reasonable price. For example for arrays with a large number of photomultiplier tubes. These units do have one high voltage generator for several channels, hence the name distributor module. The third type is called EBS, which is a bipolar module with 4, 8 or 16 channels, with output voltages up to 3 kV. This module type can be used in full 4 quadrant mode, as current sync or source including 4 quadrant current measurement, for example for electron lens systems. The fourth type is called ESS, which is a one channel supply with 10 or 20 kV with 40 W, which can be used as a unipolar current sink and source, for example for electron optical systems and charging or discharging of capacitive loads. Each of the four types EHS, EDS, EBS and ESS is available in different versions to perfectly match specific applications. Details regarding the different module types and the available versions you can get on our website www.isaac-hv.com or by contacting our support team. And now let's get to the Isaac communication server ICS2. Out of the box this system offers an easily accessible control and monitoring via the use of a web browser. This software, which is called ICS Control, enables various control, monitoring, logging and analyzing possibilities for your specific system. With the help of the integrated users and roles management, it is also possible to enable additional users to get monitoring access to the system without the possibility of changing settings. The users management in combination with the integrated Wi-Fi functionality also enables the possibility of using laptops, tablet computers or even mobile phones to get a quick overview about the system settings and actual outputs or, if this is configured accordingly within the users management, also to change parameters of the configuration. For the use in sensitive laboratory environments, the Wi-Fi functionality can be turned off via software or physically by detaching the Wi-Fi adapter. For the implementation of the high voltage system into already existing facility system control software, the ICS2 offers several software services such as WebSocket based or HTTP based interfaces, a SOAP interface, an EPIX IOC, an OPC UA server or an SNMP interface. By the use of one of the integrated application programming interfaces, it is easily possible to integrate the control and monitoring of Isaac multi-channel high voltage modules into almost any external control software. 
Should you have interest in a deeper insight into the functionalities of the ICS2 server system, please take a look at our in-depth tutorial video. Try out the system yourself at ics.isaac-hv.com or contact us by phone or email. Thank you for watching. We are looking forward to empower you with high voltage.